right, there she is, my fresh-faced wife. She's holding up some war paint. She's putting it on little dabs, getting ready for the big fight on YouTube. And this looks like concealer, no, not concealer, foundation. Starting point, she's using the brush, putting it on there. This is much more coverage than like military war paint. So this is obviously high-end makeup that she's putting on. Um, I think this kind of just goes all over her face and even her forehead. Now she's putting on a little bit more eye foundation, I guess, is what it would be. Something that's like a foundation unique to the eyes. And she's looking close in the camera. Okay, she's not using the eye foundation on her chin, I wouldn't think. Although it looks like she was using the same bottle. Um, so I think she's still doing the foundation thing. I'm not sure why she's leaving her eye foundation just kind of on there without rubbing it in like everything else, but you can see her face is getting more polished looking, I would say. All the kind of little normal, regular, natural, like uh, colorations are getting kind of blended into a seamless look. All right, now she's using the brush just like she did with her regular foundation, and I'm assuming the eye foundation is being applied in kind of a similar vein. Um, looks like it's rubbing in kind of nicely. And it's still getting rubbed in, still getting rubbed in. It looks like it's a little bit lighter than the rest of her foundation, if I'm using that correctly. Now she's dabbing additional things on there, which are under her eye. But I don't know if it's foundation or if it's the, or if it's something different than what she put on previously. Maybe it's a concealer of some sort. But I'm not really sure I understand the difference between a foundation and a concealer because from my viewpoint if you look she had freckles when she was kind of fresh faced and then she put both items on and you know the freckles are kind of they're obviously still there but they're just kind of masked a little bit so to the extent that this is concealer and not foundation I would argue that both have a tendency to do the same thing which is basically mask any like normal imperfections or discolorations and make everything kind of like the same color. And now she's using something on her brush, but it's not that perceptible to me that there's much of a difference. I don't know that I can see anything. That is blush, I guess. No? Bronzer? Not exactly sure what it is. I'm not sure it's bronzer because she doesn't look like she's getting all that suntanned. Not much. Maybe a little bit relative to how she started off. My wife is obviously really pale to begin with. So make no mistake about her. She is a Caucasian female. Now she's using some type of a, uh, oh, she's doing the, the fish look. This is some type of a, a cheekbone enhancer. I don't know what you would call that, but that brush is looking pretty high end and unique to what she's applying right now on her cheekbones. This almost looks like when the kids in the high school are doing the plays and they want to make them look older and they add lines to their face. It kind of looks like what she's putting on, something that kind of adds some definition. Obviously, she's not making herself look older, but she is adding some definition to her cheekbones because they really pop even like to a novice who doesn't know much about makeup. You can see her cheekbones are just like protruding pretty, pretty significantly on this picture right now. She's putting some additional coloring on. I'm not sure what's going on with the hairline up there, why she would go that high. I'm really at a loss as to what this kind of brushing all over is different than the previous one. Okay, now she's got yet another brush and yet another item that she's applying. And it looks like she's kind of going up along the side of her eye. I'm not exactly sure. I, I, I know Marnie's used the word highlighter before, so it's possible that what she just applied was a highlighter. Now this is another thing that she's putting on with more, almost, that kind of looks like a sun-kissed, uh, suntan type of look to it. So I'm going to say this would be the bronzer. I could be wrong about that. Uh, this goes on top of her eyelid, which means it's going to be in a, uh, it looks like a concealer or a foundation just for her eyes, I would say. And now she's got a lot of different colors she can choose from. This is mascara, for sure. Stuff that goes above your eye, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Marty's laughing in my background. 
Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. She did not tell me that. The word just came to me. Mascara is for the eyebrows. I knew that. Um, I would say as a caveat that, you know, I grew up with a brother and I only have sons and most of my dogs have only been boys. So Marty's really the only girl that I've ever lived with of similar age or younger. So without having the advent of sisters, frankly, guys like me have a little more difficulty figuring out exactly what's going on. You know, I think she's just doing all kinds of different like eye shadows right now to just enhance the uh, eyes, but she's really starting to pop right now on the screen though, becoming more Hollywood glamorous looking. Um, not sure exactly what she's putting kind of at the corner of her eyes, but I don't know that it's eyeshadow at this point. This is kind of more of a blend, maybe an eye blend type of a makeup to kind of blend them all together because she had multiple colors of eyeshadow. So maybe this just kind of uh, puts like a finishing touch on it to blend it together. And more eyeshadow, I'm thinking, kind of a darker color, or maybe it's a highlighter just for her eyes. Not really sure exactly, but it looks like it's making pretty good headway. She's getting some positive move. Uh, yeah, right now, uh, is that kind of glittery? I don't know what exactly she's putting on, but it looks like it's got some glitter aspects to it. All right, she's still working under the eye uh, brow, so now it looks like she's getting into her eye. Nope, no, I thought it was going to be an eyebrow pencil, but it's not. It's actually an eye pencil of some sort. So it looks like obviously she's adding definition to the line just above her eyelashes. I don't know what you would call this particular makeup right now. It's not uh, eyeshadow. It's something different that's more specific to the eyelashes. I, I could not tell you what that is, believe it or not. Even though I'm married to the Miss Gold Girl, beauty and makeup guru. Her husband is not aware of what she's doing other than she's working on the eyebrows right now. So that's definitely some type of a mascara, mascara, which I previously thought was what the eyeshadow was. So definitely she's doing mascara right now. And I guess she's just kind of painting on some additional color to make her eyebrow, eyelash, eyebrows look a little bit more full and defined and I guess she's just you know kind of making them look a little bit more full on the ends there where they don't have as much hair probably because she plucked it off I don't know I see her in front of the mirror plucking her plucking her uh, eye um, lashes all the time so maybe she's just filling them back in you know from the likes of it most guys would probably say why would you pluck them if you're just adding color to make them look full again. <laughs> so that seems kind of counterintuitive to be plucking eyelash. Okay, now she's gonna be using that crazy medieval looking dark ages tool that I would never put near my eyelashes. I mean, that just looks painful. No way would I do anything like that. That is just totally medieval looking. But I've seen her do it all the time. And now she's doing more. What is the makeup that goes on the eyelashes? Gosh, maybe I got this wrong and maybe this is mascara. I am just totally at a loss now as to what exactly this particular, maybe this is the mascara. Mascara goes on the eyelashes and then I don't, I don't I actually don't know the name of the makeup that goes on the eyebrows if that's not mascara or maybe they're both mascara. And like you have specific mascara for eyelashes and you have specific mascara for eyebrows. I honestly couldn't tell you. Now I'm kind of confusing myself a little bit looking at it. Um, boy, I have to confess, I have no idea what you would call this. If this is mascara, then it, I'm, I'm totally at a loss as to what she was doing with her eyebrows. Other than she was using similar type of makeup to enhance the look. So I'm not sure, but I will tell you from a husband's perspective, you could see how her beautiful kind of bluish green eyes start to pop really nicely when she puts this eye makeup on. So, you know, this is kind of like the kind of makeup I like to see on her where it's still kind of natural looking. It doesn't have that real dark, harsh looking colors, but yet it looks just like a real healthy looking glow. And then, oh man, lipstick. Marty knows that I hate like deep, like dark 
red and so this is a pretty good color to me because again I prefer her to wear just kind of a pretty normal kind of natural tone I would say so this to me I like this color personally I'm not real familiar with too many guys that would probably confess that they actually like their wife and women to wear dark red so this is a perfect look to me that's the that's the wife that I know that's the Marnie that I know she looks beautiful couldn't do it any better myself I was probably only 50% correct on my description see you later